Hello, sir. We're raising money for the underprivileged kids in the city. We just want to see if you can donate. Let me stop you there. Don't you care about kids? Of course I do. But in giving you money, I'd be reinforcing the negative behaviors of those underprivileged children's dependency on others' help. Those kids are underprivileged for a reason. Their parents grew up expecting a handout, and now they're growing up doing the same. Someone has to stop the cycle so they can be self-reliant. By giving you money right now, I could actually be hurting kids. Understand? Every morning, I have my black coffee, mm -hmm. my American coffee. And you've been asking me to try your British tea, and I've been resisting. But I think I will give it a try, okay? Sure, yeah, I'll make you a cup of tea with we, milk and sugar. We, do I have tomorrow morning for breakfast? Definitely. Could you come here? I want to tell you a secret. Okay. Make it a good one. <laughs> Joseph, you are such a tease. I'm getting a little tired. Maybe you can bring me my pills. Sure. Okay. Okay. I'll go get them for you. Joseph. There has to be something I can do. This is outrageous. Charlie, I've warned you about this for a long time. It's no longer a local paper. My hands are tied. We have to do what they say now. But people love Barmy. What's this? An internet survey of which comics we should keep in the paper. Barmy's at the bottom. You're basing your decision on something a computer tells you. Not everyone uses a computer, Marcus. Charlie, you may not, but most people do. Charlie? What? I'm trying to help you here. I don't need your help. I have the opportunity to suggest one local cartoon to keep in the paper. I took them everything we have. Out of everything, they like Barmy. They just like it to be a little, little broader, uh, family friendly. I know where you're going with this, and I'm not changing Barmy. Hear me out. If you could redesign Barmy, there's a chance that they'll pick it up for the whole syndication. We're talking about 300 papers here, Charlie. And if I don't? Barmy's replaced by peanuts. Or worse, a crossword puzzle. Just as long as it's not Sudoku. Mm, all right, let me get a good look at you. Great outfit. Yeah, well, it was either stop here on the way back to our place or not come out at all. A drink is what you need. 10 minutes. On a Friday? It's the first night in a year I haven't been on call. I'm gonna go to bed for a week, maybe two. With or without a man? If you can find him in 10 minutes or less. <laughs> Was it peaceful, the way you went? Yeah. I don't know how you do it. I could never deal with that kind of stuff. Everyone needs someone to help them, especially at the end. I feel like I've known her for years. It's, it's crazy. It's literally like we went to high school with each other or something like that. She just, she gives me that same feeling, you know? <sighs> Did you get her pregnant? Charlie, I seriously think this chick is the one, man. The one. You're a 
goner. It's over. I just want you to have one look at her. One look at her, and you tell me she ain't the one. She's not the one. No one is. She even said she likes Barmy, brother. She mustn't participate in internet surveys. You know what, Charlie? I think I'm gonna marry this girl. <laughs> oh, dear. Then you're the dumbest of the dumb. You're middle class, middle America. You know what? She's what I want, man. Complete dependency. Relying on someone else for every part of your life. The end of being independent makes you weak. I hope you enjoy having someone else wipe your bottom for you. I ain't you, Charlie. Well, that's for sure. So what are you going to do about Barmy? What are you going to do about that paper? Stuff them. And lose your job. They can't fire me. I'm freelance. If they won't buy Barmy, someone else will. People want him. And if they don't? They do. You know what? Next one's on me. No, 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 no. I'm good. Well, let me at least call you a cab. You look like you could use a little help getting home. I'm fine on my own. Someone we can call. A spouse or a family member? Mm. A friend or a neighbor? No. Charlie's awake now, you can see him. Look at yourself, man. Somehow I managed to get away with this still intact. I don't need the rest, really. Yeah, I, I feel terrible. I'm here to help you with anything you need, Charlie, okay? I'm in pretty good shape. I haven't been needing anything. May I please speak to Charlie? Yeah, yeah, sure. Alone? Right, right. Based on the way that bone decided to set, I'd say you're going to have to stay horizontal for another week. It's going to be up to you to ensure that it's a successful recovery. I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, that's a pretty mean concussion you have. You're going to have to keep a close eye on it. Don't want you falling asleep and not waking back up. I provided 24-hour home health care for you just to keep an eye on you and make sure you don't slip into a coma. I won't be needing that. All right. Your other option is to spend the week in the hospital. This little guy. Who sent you this, anyways? No idea. I think they give them to everyone at the hospital. Feel free to go now. Ah, uh, come on. I'll keep you company while we wait for your nurse. Really? Please leave. You know, I, I feel like this is it's all kind of my fault. Yeah, besides, who's gonna who's gonna open the door? I can make it over there. Wait together. Let them in on your way out. Take that bloody bear. All right, big baby. Bear stays. What are you looking at? Hello? Take care of your bear over here. I'm past you for my morphine, so I'd appreciate it if you get in here kind of quick. In time, first when you just check your vitals. What are you doing? Okay. 
It's my legs, not my arm. Quiet, counting. Please, the reason you're here is for the drugs. Leg hurting. Let's get to it already. I'm not your drug dealer, I'm your nurse. And I just need to make sure everything's all right before I make any changes. This entire thing is ridiculous and unnecessary. Did they uh, give you a catheter? Excuse me? The hospital, did they hook you up with a catheter? No. And for your information, I have very good continence, thank you. Okay. Gonna need to get you a bedpan then. No. Well, what do you suggest? That you leave my house. I'm sorry? You are trespassing on private property. Please leave or I shall be forced to defend myself. Are you threatening me? Yes. Yes, I am. Don't make me do anything I'll regret. And lock the door! Hey, Amy. You're Australian, right? London. Right. I have a problem. It's kind of a funny situation. George quit. Set a patient some tea bag, threaten him with a blade or something. Um, I don't think it's anything serious. The guy's got a head injury. I need someone who can go in there and set things straight. British guy, so you'll get along great. I know you're going to take some time off work, but uh, you up for the challenge? Sure. This guy might be a bit more trouble than you're used to doesn't seem to be a good situation. There's this paperwork. How does a middle-aged man end up needing home health care? Was in a, an automobile accident or something bad. He lives alone, so we need someone full-time. Is that a problem? No. No, you know there's no one I can't help. Charlie, I like you. I like Barney. You're a genius. But I think you're going to need a little help on this one. What I can do is assign a cartoonist to work with you, a collaborator, to make those adjustments that they asked for. No need. I'll have you the next Barney in a couple of days. this up I'll break your good leg well my good leg's still pretty bad so you might want to threaten an arm or something oh, thank god I was so worried that you'd be in here alone you might have passed out not again Marcus doors have locks for a reason I, I hope I'm not interrupting anything no one answered the door and I heard voices so I walked in <laughs> you have the wrong house South London really Essex actually Visiting hours are over. Charlie Atwood. Yes. So I do have the right house then. Amy Murray. Family. Not that bad, but close. My boss. You don't have any sharp objects around, do you? No. No, safe. When's the last time this was changed? Hasn't been. Well, um, well, it says here that it's supposed to be changed at least twice a day. And when's the last time today that you had your sedatives and antibiotics? Haven't yet. Oh my god, you must be in so much pain right now. Not really. I've been taking a lot of these. Plus a few drinks here and there. It really takes the edge off, you know. Have you had dinner or need to use the washroom? I'm fine. What do you need? All right, let me give you the rundown. I need you to do two things. I need you to give me those injections, and I need you to keep quiet. If I step into a coma, cut the life support. I don't need anyone's help to live. Okay, that was three things. Doctor ordered a medical bed. Oh, send it back. No need for it. I like mine. 
You should elevate your legs. We can use pillows. Tried it. Just made it hard for me to get to the bathroom on my own. <laughs> You're joking, right? Well, I'm not using a bedpan when I can do it by myself. Uh, how? Oh, wow, you're serious. Medicine? No medicine? Need medicine? Now? Uh, you've been drinking and we shouldn't mix alcohol with another depressant. God, you're worse than the first nurse. I'm just gonna set this down here for now. Let you cool down a bit while I get my stuff set up. Absolutely not. You're not staying here. Jason, it is the worst thing you said. Did you get stabbed? No. Then you're doing far better than George. I think he only lasted five minutes in there. Just do what you do best and help this crazy guy out. All right. I'll let you know how it goes. That's my girl, Amy. to be more careful with the door. I can't wait till the morning. You give a whole new meaning to bedridden. Looking for this? To write. I'll make you a deal. I will let you use this pen for writing if you let me have just a minute to look at that leg of yours. One minute. Leg first. God, you're impossible. OK, deal. You said just leg. It's all attached. Is your leg bothering you or are you still hungover? It feels like I've been run over by a car. <laughs> like it should. This should make you a little less grumpy.
You collect comic strips? Not really. I saw those ones with Barmy in the hallway. Oh, those, yeah, of course. Those were all ones that were rejected by the paper. Well, that's fascinating. How'd you get hold of them? Auction? No. <laughs> those ones aren't worth anything. Maybe one day. You're not... You're Barmy? No, I'm Charlie. This is Barmy. Wow. <laughs> you expected something different? You have no idea how many seniors read your comic every week. Do you read it? Well, I read it when a senior needs help. That's a problem. Got to figure out a way to make young people like yourself read it again. Breakfast ready? Scrambled eggs. I don't eat bird eggs. They were in your refrigerator. I'm sorry, your file didn't specify. I can make you something else. Not hungry. I'll finish up work and make something for myself. You're gonna kill that cast if you keep dragging it around. Great, then I can cut it off. Keep it still and maybe we can get you something more flexible. Maybe a wheelchair. I have half a mind to go down to the garage right now and get out a hacksaw. I can't make any promises, but it's likely to heal a lot quicker if you keep it still. <sighs> Itchy. I have a solution for that. I'm good. But leave it there. Might come in handy later. Today's our first day, so I'm not going to be too hard on you, but starting tomorrow we need to change a few things. Tomorrow? Like what? Like how you get to the bathroom. I've got it all figured out. I can help you. Thank you, but no thank you. When's the last time you had a bath? Can't exactly shower in this cast. All right. We can do a quick sponge bath. How do I get rid of you? We work together. Get you back on your feet. It's one week. Out. I guess, yeah, I mean, it works your quarter or whatever. <sighs> Michelle, he is worse than an 80-year-old man. Far more set in his ways. This is the Garfield guy? Barmy. Is he at least cute? In a alcoholic, depressed kind of little <laughs> Hey, no. It just breaks my heart that he doesn't want my help. I wonder what happened to him. Maybe he was an orphan or something. Or raised by a pack of wolves. Ooh, a wolf man. <laughs> Without the muscle. Shouldn't you be with him right now? It's unorthodox, I know, but he's asked me to leave, so I left. I figured if I just do what he asks, then maybe you'll realize we're on the same team. So what if I told you that someone you knew asked me if it could set you up with you on a blind date? If it's someone I know, then it's not a blind date. It's not who you're thinking. Jason. OK, it is who you're thinking, but <laughs> Come on, it could be fun. Good for you. Not right now. I'm, I'm working 24-7. You said the guy doesn't even want you there. Come on, couldn't you leave early on Friday? Uh, ugh. I'm gonna get back. I need to try something else. Wake me up. All right, well, I'm gonna set it up. Don't tell Jason I said anything.
Why are you doing this to yourself? You can make it easier on yourself. Pour back to your doctors that I'm fine, mobile and well, and that your services are no longer needed. I remember hearing something on the news about Barney, about it being replaced. Is that true? No. Well, yes. Paper wants to. I've got to make sure they don't, for Barney's sake. I've got to find a way to make him work for them this week. I've got nothing. Well, what's your inspiration for Barney? Pigeons. Makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to go make some dinner and then we'll work out what to do about Barney. Not hungry. Okay, I'll just cook for me then. is amazing. Brilliant. It's possibly the best thing I've seen you do. You can put that back away. That's nothing. It's totally something. I can see this selling. Families would love it. It's so great you're working on a children's book. I'm not. Not anymore. You should finish it. I'd like to see how it ends. Have you shown these to a publisher? No, not good enough. You should show this to someone. I've got a friend in that world. Maybe I can help get these in for you. No, I'm not interested in showing it to anyone. Not yet. It's good. I like it. I don't think so. You can put that back away where you found it. If you don't mind. Charlie, I made you some breakfast if you want it. No eggs. I need something already. Yeah, you can take my arm. A hundred times now. I can't watch you hurt your ankle. Don't watch then. No! <sighs> you have to excuse me. It's, it's not as easy to be a paraplegic as it might look. I'm, I'm still getting used to it. I don't want you getting used to it. I want to see you get better. Can I please wrap your ankle? <sighs> Maybe we didn't get off to the right start. Let's try again. 
I, I want to make this as easy on you as possible. What else do you do besides nursing? Just nursing. Hobbies, recreation, fun. I'm taking online classes right now towards my doctorate. <laughs> Are you telling me they're training people to be doctor on the computers now? Just for the basics, first year stuff. God, no wonder doctors know nothing these days. Great, so you're a student, probably need time to study, right? I'm pretty much reading medical textbooks all night. That's all I do. Any finals? Early next week. Well, how about you do it during the day? Get all your work done and then have the night free for yourself. <laughs> I really don't need you here for anything else. That is very kind, but this is my job. I need to keep an eye on you. The office is still on the table. Oh, and I noticed you did the dishes last night. Oh, no problem. Yes, problem. Please, no need to do any cleaning around here. Everything's in its proper place. And if you see anything that seems out of order, it's probably exactly where it's supposed to be. Got it? Got it. Mm. What's that? Oh. I'm still working on it. I, I think I'm pretty close, though. Doesn't look quite like balmy. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a good idea to start some physical therapy. So I'm going to move your legs around for flexibility. How does that feel? Okay. All right, now that's starting to hurt. Yeah. Without sedatives, it usually does. That's right, we haven't done that this morning yet. Let's do that. Uh, no. Now's when you're going to start to feel any damage that you've done to your leg dragging it around. Not good. Well, get used to that sound. Okay. We'll let it rest for a few minutes and then we'll do a second set. How many sets do we have to do? Every half an hour. Keep them moving, keep them alive. Oh, wait here, I've got you something. Believe me, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I can't trust that. That's a wheelchair. Yes. But you have to promise me you won't tell anyone that I gave it to you. On paper, you're still in bed. Just try to use this on your travels around the house. You really didn't have to do this. It's borrowed. Just don't say anything. No, it's definitely not a hot rod. I'll take it for a test drive once my leg stops throbbing. Hit the school books. Last thing we need is another internet doctor. Oh, wait a minute. How tall are you? Oh, never mind. You're probably tall enough. Uh, top shelf in the kitchen closet. There's one of those claw grabber things. Thought about it the other night, but I couldn't get up there. I haven't used it for years, but it's probably come in handy now. Can you see if it's still there? Of course. Perfect. <laughs> now I shan't need you anymore. I'll be able to reach the top shelf. This child's toy could prove to be the world's most useful invention. <laughs> Maybe I'll get two. One in each hand. What do you think? The world is in your claw. Exactly. That'll be all, Miss Murray.
I'll get that for you. No, 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 I've got it. If you need anything in the night... I yell and you come running. Hey, Amy. Yes. I, um, I just wanted to say... Oh, you don't have to apologize. It's been a hard couple of days. I wasn't. I was just going to say thank you for the chair and the claw. You didn't have to do that. Well, um, good night. Good night. If I'm not allowed to do it, then you're going to do it yourself. You stink. And you need a shave. What do you think? Looks like farming. What? It's completely different now. Mainstream even, maybe. Might want to make him a bit friendlier looking. It's perfect. I'm sending it to Marcus. It's exactly what he's looking for. I'm mailing this one. Funny. And I thought it'd be all digital now. <laughs> Most guys use computers to draw, edit, and send their comics. I prefer the old-fashioned way. I won't touch a computer. You're going to need to do more than just that. Can I make you a salad? I should be doing that. You've no idea how much I've thought about these vegetables. It would completely take away my own satisfaction if you did it. Just relax. Not to be rude, but you... You kind of drive me crazy. <laughs> That's a relief. Oh. I thought I was the only one going mad in this house. Have a tomato. All right. Mmm. don't want me around. Do you mind if I take off for a few hours this evening? To study? Of course. For dinner plans? Doesn't matter, of course. Take the rest of the week off. I don't care. I can't do that. I'll be back by ten and we can do one more set of stretches. Whatever you say. if you don't need anything else right now. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Everything all right? Uh, just drop my pencils. I'll come grab them in a second. Got it.
perfect. Uh, good, fine, um, presentable. It's not me. Oh, here's my number, in case you need anything. Take your time. I'll, I'll still be here. In fact, take as long as you like if you're having fun. Um, I don't need anything. The funny thing is, if you do your job right, they die. But if you do your job wrong, they still die. It's a win-win situation for us, really, on the business side of things. It's a little bit different on the people side of things. That's right. That's exactly right. And that's why we have people on our team like you, to think about those things. How's that Snoopy guy? Charlie, um, he's, he's definitely special. Sorry? It's just the way the light's reflecting off your eyes. No, I mean, they'd be beautiful in any light. Just this light? I've never really gotten to see them in anything other than the fluorescent at work. Thank you. I should probably be getting back soon. I'm your boss. I tell you when to go in. You've got the next hour off. I'm back, Charlie. Uh, good time? Yeah. What happened to 10 o'clock? You said not to worry about it, to stay out as long as I wanted. Why don't you just start listening to me? Well, let me get out of here. I was a complete prune hours ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> Try not to look. Uh, I don't have much on. <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay, I'm coming in. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, if you want to. I'm not responsible, though. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. All right. We're going to do this together, okay? Up and over. Right. Ready? Yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, I. 
sorry, I, I, I don't know what came over me. I, I uh, <sighs> just glad you're here. Yeah. Um. Let's get you out and I'll help you get dressed. Okay, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'll just get him for you. It's Marcus. Oh. Flip? Everyone upstairs is loving today's Barney. Keep her there, Charlie. I'll let you know later this week. Great. Good news? Uh, very good news. They loved it. <laughs> I, um, I was thinking again about last night, and I, I, I just wanted to say... Already said not to worry about it happens to my patients all the time. Let's get to work. Okay. Now, this isn't going to be easy, but I want you to try. You're going to have to put a lot of weight on your other leg. Just need to figure out how to get up. Uh, Oh, lock in the wheels to give yourself more support. That's good. That's good. Keep going. Okay. Nearly. How's that? I think that's enough for now. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. Amy? Yeah? Um, I was meaning to ask you a question. I, I didn't want to ask you earlier, not knowing what your response would be, but I guess now's as good a time as any. Sure. What? <laughs> food. Eat food together sometime. I'll have one of your yummy salads anytime. No, special. Something special. Um, nice. A dress. Form. A date? No. Uh, un unless you want it to be. Uh, just a thank you. Okay. Fine, no problem. You, you would? No, I'd love to. Tonight? Y yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can do weights. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh. Oh, break. Breaks. What <laughs> about those? <laughs> Sure you don't need any help in there? I'm fine, fine. So, uh, work, work, work. That's really all you do? It's kind of the nature of the job. I'm a living nurse. What if you need to take a holiday? I don't. Oh, well, that's a shame. I, I bet you'd be a completely different person if you didn't have to be at work all the time. I mean, look at you, here, now. I mean, you look great like this. <laughs> 
someone had to do this job and I'm more than happy to do it. Well, yeah, but there's, there's different types of nursing and shorter shifts. You'd have more time for studying. Just a thought. I left you alone for one evening and look what happened. I I'm not thinking about me, just you. It'd be a shame for you to get so caught up helping others that you missed out on living your own life. What happened to her? Who? Her. I saw a picture. Oh, wow. Might need another drink. That bad. Not easy. Did you love her? Of course. You don't marry someone unless you love them. So what went wrong? I'm sorry. We don't have to talk about this if you don't want to. She... She left me. One night. It was uh, unexpected. She say why? No. You didn't go after her? Almost. I was a complete mess at the time. But then one night, just as I was going to, I, I found Barney. It came to me on a napkin of all places. And that night, somehow, I knew that I would be all right on my own. That I could do this by myself, that I, I didn't need her. It looks like she left a pretty big scar. I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for her. Barney wouldn't be here. I, um, I haven't talked about that too much to anyone. Okay, um, so I dated my school sweetheart all the way through college. And we were going to get married and have a family. I was studying biology and I went away to study in South America, like a, a work-study thing. We must have talked every day. And then when I got back, found out that he'd been sleeping with my roommate. Wow. Uh, it turned out to just be puppy love. Um, I was naive and I didn't know what I wanted. Still love lost. But when I found out what he was doing, I decided to stay the rest of the year in Venezuela, which is where I found my true love helping people, nursing. A college boy isn't much of a man at all, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would take a senior in a nursing home over that any day of the week. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you been on a date with a patient before? So this is supposed to be a date then? Or just two people eating, whichever you prefer. <laughs> I see. Mm. There was that one picnic with the 97 year old. It was very hot sex. Uh. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> no, you are the first. Pigeons are quite independent creatures, actually. I don't think I've ever seen a pigeon on its own. Well, of course, like people, there sometimes happen to be others around. No! I'm sure that pigeons flock, just like other birds. You really need to watch some pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Each one has a mind of its own, does its own thing. You, we could go watch them together. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. 
talking to you. I don't talk to other people normally. <laughs> Do you have something more to drink? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Most of my patients are usually in bed by eight. Oh, you're a bad influence. <laughs> but I know what you mean. Besides talking about grandkids and great grandkids, I don't get much normal conversation during the day. Oh. oh, we could talk about grandkids if you prefer. Here I am going on about pigeons. <laughs> what? I like having you here. You're drunk. Very drunk. Doesn't matter. And on medication. Is the truth? Oh, that's nice. I just have a feeling that in the morning you're gonna be trying to kick me out again. I won't. Promise. Mm. Scouts on her. All right then. <laughs> have you got a pen? I've, I've always wanted to do this since I was a kid, but um, I never broke any bones. Would you sign my cast? <laughs> you I thought that was going to be wrong, didn't you? I did, I was <laughs> I'd be honoured. Where would you like it? Wherever you'd like. A blank canvas. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just go around putting hearts in everyone's cast, do you? Are you that girl? Every single one of them. Cheers. To what? To a mutual understanding. No, to bad toast. I've yet to hear a good one. How about to Barmy? To Barmy? Crazy old Barmy. Morning. Morning. I can do that. No. I'm making you breakfast. Alright. Do you do eat eggs? If I cook them. <laughs> that was really unprofessional of me. I, I never do that. It's fine. It happens to all my nurses. <laughs> Need me to do any womanly tasks? It's my last full day here. Make dinner, clean up a bit or anything? No, all set. Oh, I've uh, almost fixed up my bike. Be back up on it in no time. You're not really going to get back on that thing, are you? Why go to the trouble of fixing a leg if you can't use it? Just promise me that you'll be careful. I've been living with a rock around my leg. Believe me, I'm going to take very good care of it. I'm going to go out for a drink. OK, I'll drive you. Uh, by myself. Besides, you've got lots of studying to do, right? Big exams? Sure. I'll go get you crutches. Great. Hey, hey, hey. It's 
all she does. This week, I ask her to move in with me. And, and all she can talk about is the wedding. Ask me when it's gonna be. Already picked out her wedding dress, and we haven't even set a date yet. Engaged. Congratulations. She hasn't even moved in yet. I'm supposed to be looking at tuxes tonight. Well, how hard is it to pick out a tux? They're all black, aren't they, right? Oh. You have to choose the tie, the vest, the shoes. There's a thousand options, and it all has to coordinate with the bridesmaid dresses. But get this, you're not allowed to see them. You're also not allowed to screw up on the colors. Sounds like a lose-lose situation. The worst part, though, is that I no longer feel like I can go and do anything just on my own. It's terrible. It's terrible. Just be thankful that you don't have a broad, Charlie. You're independent. Tired. I'm gonna go home. Got a comic due for tomorrow. Haven't started it yet. See you, Gavin. What's this? <laughs> oh my gosh, congratulations! For what? I said they the one to review your book. I didn't submit that, Amy. Must have heard from a little bird. Amy, did you send that book to them? Answer me. Why would you do that? Stay there! Why would you send my book to them? This is great. They might publish your book. It's a dream come true. Why would you send it without asking me? I thought it was amazing, and I knew that you might need some help, a little extra push. I didn't need any help! It's okay, you know now that it's good. I always knew it was good. That wasn't what was important. I'm sorry. But well, that wasn't yours to send. It, it was my task, mine to do. I didn't need your help. Yes, you said. I meant it. Okay, um, I am gonna go and read and let you call it. This was a mistake. And I'm sorry. You don't understand. This whole thing was a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm gonna go out now, I'm gonna get back, I don't want any of your stuff Charlie, here! Charlie, please, stop. Whatever it is, I can help. No, you can't! Goodbye, Charlie.
Hi, Marcus. It's Charlie. Um, what happened to Barney? I, I, I thought you said they liked him. They did. But they want what the people want. I'm sorry, Charlie. Who are you? I, I'm here to see Amy. Marmy? Yes, that's me. What, wait, no, wait. Uh... Amy, my leg. Your leg? It, it has been swelling. I'm not your nurse anymore, Charlie. Please. doesn't seem to be swelling. Oh, I knew you could help. And uh, as you're here, maybe we could talk for a minute. I'm off to work. Please, just, just give me a minute. I, I, I had to come over. You wouldn't return my calls. Because you yelled at me and kicked me out? I, I know what I did. It, it's not easy for me to do this. Just, just give me a second. If it's not easy, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. No, listen. Barmy's gone. You want to talk about your car too? No, no, uh, uh, about yesterday. Go on. Y yes, I... I guess that might not have made too much sense. I, 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 I get that. It was just really difficult having you over there all the time. Really o overwhelming. You just came all the way over here to tell me that? Yes. Well, no, th th there's more. I... I wanted to say sorry. It's not enough, Charlie. Do you ever think about anybody besides yourself and what you want? Yes. And that's why I'm asking you to listen to me now. You're a little box, Charlie. You push everyone away. That's why they leave you. That's why your wife left you. She left me when she died. This is very nice of you. Yeah, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. you know, Gavin had said that you lost your job, and I told him to have you over. That's what friends do. To rub in the bad news. No, that was very thoughtful of you. <laughs> She's a fine Gavin. Hmm? Did Gavin say otherwise? Uh, he said you were a doll. The truth is uh, that it's been a hard few days for us trying to figure out how to live together. Yeah, I couldn't figure it out at first and then I realized that he was feeling trapped. But we figured it out, huh? 
How's it working out for you two? We set a date, and Gavin picked it out. Man, it's crazy. I, I know, we both know, but it's, it's what we want. It's what we both decided together, so. Yeah. And you know, I want him to be that independent man that he is. That's who I fell in love with. You're right. She's the one. I told you. <laughs> cool. You're probably going great. I'll be right back. I'm at work, Charlie. I can see that. If you need to say something to me, I'll be off at five. Can I talk to you? Please. J just for a minute. Mrs. McBriar, I'm just coming outside for a minute. So, you're on a day shift? Yeah. I took your advice. M making more time for me. Well, more time to study. Good. That's, that's very good. I owe you an apology. I, I was out of line. I am. Um... I wanted to ask you a question. My wife was very sick, and um, I, I did everything I could, but in the last couple of months, I, she wouldn't let me help her. She wanted to do it on her own. She said I had to figure out how to do it on my own, how to live without her. After she left, I started living that way, and um, I, I knew she was right. But the, the one thing I, I couldn't do on my own was this. We were working on it together, and she made me promise that I'd finish it. But I couldn't. You don't have to keep going every day on your own. It's how I survived. I'd love you to help me finish it. That's <laughs> yours. I'd be honored if you helped me, Amy. You love people, young and old, and I couldn't think of a better collaborator. Please. I'd, I'd love to try, Amy. I, I know I'm a mess and probably a bit crazy, but <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think we'd be missing out on something if we didn't at least try. in the garden. Yeah. A whole family, like a group yeah. of pigeons. I would go as far to say that it was a flock of pigeons that I saw. Impossible. No. Really? I saw it with my own eyes. Yeah. Mm, that's interesting. The cat went crazy. Loved oh, okay. it. Yeah. No. Yeah. All different shapes, sizes. You sure they weren't just like of pigeons? The pigeons who were just kind of individually, collectively arrived at the same place at the same time. Well, I don't think it was a random gathering. I mean, they seemed pretty in sync. I think they... All right, you win. You win. Pigeons flock.